Hello! So I am inside because it's super cold. Um, so yeah, and everything like that. My hair is up, I'm all ready to hoop, no stuff. If you're wondering why I have a full face of makeup, I, um, I have something to do later on today, but I'm still going to make a video. So yeah, that explains that. And I'm just gonna jump right in because I have a trick today that's kind of hard to do, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Meow. So today I'm going to be focusing more on ISOs because isolations I feel like make it's like easy and you know you don't have to really get you don't have to worry about getting hit really. So I'm just gonna teach you some of those and yeah. And then another trick that you guys would not stop asking me about was the vortex. So I'm going to show you how to do that. When I first started to learn how to hoop, I did learn how to do this. It took a while, but it was worth it. So I definitely believe that you guys can do it too. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. First trick I'm going to teach you today is um, the yo-yo iso trick. And, um, you know, it basically... So first how you do this trick. One, you want your palm on top, 12 o'clock and down. You want it down close to the ground. And then over here, I want you to turn to the outside. So you want your arm just straight out on the outside, not on top. So you know, you will be like turning it. You don't have to move your hand like this, you're just turning it. So from straight, out here, straight, and out here. Next is one of like my favorite tricks I ever, ever do. <laughs> um, it's a horizontal ISO where you move it and it looks like it's staying straight. This one's a little bit tricky, but I'm pretty sure if you pay attention, it'll be really, really easy. So grabbing the bottom of the hoop as strong as you can, making sure that it's done, it's not moving at all. The whole point of this trick is to keep it as still as possible. So you're going to be going this way, turning it, but it still looks like it's straight, right? So you guys have, you guys know this. I showed you this in the last video. Basically, we're just going to be doing it to a motion. You're going to move your arm while moving the hoop. So moving your hand and your arm at the same time so it still looks like it's going straight. And then instead of switching your hand at the top, you're going to switch your hand right here. And it's gonna go like that. So all you have to do now is move your hand fast enough so it looks like it's moving straight. So that. It really helps if you're on your knees on the ground so the hoop is gliding against the floor so you can get as straight as possible. The next ISO trick, it's more of the double handed, it's like a flip, it makes it really dramatic. <laughs> um, like if it's like a really strong motion, it's not really like, oh, wow, like it's like from here and then there, like it's like <laughs> very dramatic and it's fun, it's really easy to do. So, go ahead and put two hands, and we'll just do the easiest side. Basically, the hoop will start going like this, and like that. If you want to keep it really strong, just keep on going like that. So, just remember where the side of the hoop was last time, and match it. Try to match it. So, you can either switch it, go like this, go like up and down. For 
first of all, you just want to start right here. Right here on your waist. And you want to be comfortable with putting your hands into the hoop. Know when you can put your hands in. So, here from the side, from the back. I'm going to put my hand right on my lower back. Make sure it's safe, make sure I can still hoop with my hand right here on my lower back. <laughs> I'm just going to basically, from the back, I'm going to glide it up. Just like, oh, uh, there's a couple times when people are like, like you're putting on a seatbelt. Like if you want to go from the top to the bottom, just act like you're putting on a seatbelt. So if you want to go from bottom to top, like you're taking off the seatbelt. Um, so you just have to be careful. You're probably going to hit yourself in the face, but it'll be okay. <laughs> so go ahead and go. Put your hand in the back. I'm going to show you from behind first, and then I'll show you the front. So from here. And up from the front. I'm just going to simply insert <laughs> my hand and glide it back down. So, and down. Usually when I do that, I'm hooking it right here. So when the hoop comes, it grabs on and I glide it down as it's open for my body to go inside it too. Because basically, the hoop's like this. It's coming in, grabbing it. So you have this open slot right here for your body. So while it's here, you're going to glide it and it's going to touch your body at some point make contact and that's when you move your body with the hoop. So, I would probably say the hardest part is not putting it on but taking it off. And with every trick, remember if you practice on one side, practice it on the other side. So, that's basically the hooping tricks I have today. I know the ones I didn't give you a lot, but it's very important that you practice with the ones you get because from here to here, you can go like this, go back. There's so many ISOs that I taught you that you can just mix together and make like a flow. <laughs> and then the vortex, hmm, it's gonna take some time, but pretty sure within a day, if you keep on practicing and practicing, you'll get the hang of it. So it shouldn't be too hard. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Happy hooping! Bye!